The title says it all. Nero has, over the years, gained the reputation of being the standard for burning anything. But how does their latest 2016 edition stack up? And、uh, how easy does it actually make the process of creating discs, be it DVD, Blu-ray, or good old CDs? This is Leo from Fall Critic, and today we're going to review Nero 2016 Burning ROM. The software comes with an online installer of only 2.4 megabytes. However, it requires a much larger download after that. But once you're done and you launch it, it's actually a part of the Nero suite. It comes with some other tools like Nero Express, Nero Disk to Device, and Nero Cover Designer. But when you actually start Nero Burning ROM, this is what you're greeted with: the new pop-up, and this allows you to start and select your disk. So first, you need to know what type of disk you want to be making. It can be an ISO, or you can directly burn to disk, or you can create a Blu-ray disk or a DVD, whatever format you have. And、um, you can create the ISO. As I said, you can create the ISO, or you can directly burn, and、uh, you can create a secure disk. You can also create a video disk. You can create、uh, one to one copy of something else. Or you can create your own custom disk. You can even make bootable ones. So lots of customization options here. You can create an audio CD as well, and、uh, you've got the same options for CDs too. You can create secure disks and all that sort of stuff. And you can even make Blu-rays. So that's really nice. So let's get started with a CD ISO. Now you have the option to create a multi-session disc, or to continue a multi-session disc, or to have no multi-session. What this basically means is that if you create a multi-session disc, you will be able to write data on it afterwards because it's going to split the disc into different sections, and it's only going to burn one section. So you can still come back and add more data to the disc if there's free space left over. But if you don't create a multi-session disc, it's just going to take up the entire disk space, and you will have no more room for changes afterwards. So I'm going to start a multi-session disc. Here you have the information. If you have a disc that already has some data, you can see some of the info here. So the downside of using multi-session is you don't get narrow disk span. However, if you do no multi-session, then you have the option. To use Nero Disk Span. Now you can auto run a certain file if you're actually adding some setups or some data to your disk. Then you can use an auto run file. And then here are some ISO settings, some advanced things, what characters to use, the file name length, and then you've got the disk label. So we're just going to call it our disk. And you can add a date if you want. And there are different actions while burning. You can just、uh, find the maximum speed. You can simulate. You can finalize disk, which means you won't be able to write data to it afterwards. And、uh, you can verify written data after writing it to make sure that there are no errors or anything like that. And you have a couple of write methods. And you can decide the number of copies. So if you want to make multiple disks of the same data, you don't necessarily have to go through the process again and again. And you can select the number of copies over here. So once you're ready, you go ahead and click the new button, and that brings you to this nicely split user interface. So on the left-hand side, you have the disk and the data that's to be stored within, and on the right-hand side, you have a file browser which allows you to navigate different files on your computer, and、uh, you can decide what to add onto the disk. So, for example, I'm just going to add a few files over here, so a few pictures. So let's say this is what I want to burn. Of course, you can add. Different types of media as well, unless you've made a specific type of disc. So once you're ready and you have all the data dragged to the left-hand side, you can start burning your disc. At the bottom, you have a space indicator showing you how much data you already have on your disc, and it's a nice、uh, linear representation that kind of 
it's easy to notice and work alongside and if you highlight it it'll tell you whether it fits or not on a standard disk so it depends on your disk capacity and here it shows you the total size on the disk if you're not sure and you want to save your current configuration maybe for another CD or if you'll want to pick it off afterwards they also have a feature where you can just save it and uh, you don't have to write anything necessarily but the next time you start it'll pick up right over here so you can save your project and then you have a few extras over here you can encode the files you can save audio tracks you can view some of the tracks and then it comes with some window customization as well to make the user interface more convenient but I mean this is about as simple as it gets I wouldn't see why anyone would need to tweak it a lot to get started it is really simple just about anyone can do it it's simple drag and drop and it works very well you don't even need to open your file explorer it's that simple here you also have the option to copy disks or to erase a rewritable disk so if you have a disk that can be erased and written again you can do that too so once you're ready you need to select your recorder whether you, if you have a disk inserted then you can select that or you can select the image recorder which means it's going to save it as an image file which you can burn afterwards so now that we're ready and we have our file set we can hit burn now and it's going to create the disk ISO so it gives us a prompt telling us that this is going to start the burn process and now it asks us to select the location where we want our image to be saved so I'm just gonna call it image and uh, I'm gonna save it right on the desktop now you can select the format as well. You can save it as a Nero image file, which means it'll only be usable by Nero products or some something else that uses this extension, or you can save it as ISO, which is much more widely recognized. So I, was, I would always recommend using ISO. So that was a really quick burn process. It's completed and our file is ready for use. So if we try to close the project, it gives us a prompt as well to if we want to save it or not, but this was a one-timer, so I'm going to hit no. Now the image that we created can be burned to a disk using Nero at any later time. So now that we have the image, we can burn it to uh, an actual DVD, and uh, it's a very similar process to doing that again, and you can use it as many times as you like. So that's how you can create an image. You, you could also directly burn it and just save the project. You can do it whatever way you like. It gives you all the options, and that's pretty nice. So that's my overview of Nero Burning ROM. It's still one of the most standard and easy-to-use burning solutions out there. I mean, not a lot of people use discs on a regular basis these days. If Blu-rays, DVDs, they're still your thing, then the software is probably essential. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Do hit the like button if you did, and subscribe to our channel for more. And check out the written review at our website, www.fallcritic.com. This is your host, Leo, signing out. I'll see you in the next one.